and Mike. With that love, they would like to honor and call upon those who are no longer with us or could not be here today to join us in spirit so that the joy of this magnificent occasion can be shared with the loved ones in this world and the next. Let us now take a moment of silence to honor those who have left this world and to also center with ourselves. Thank you, and again, welcome. Today there will be no dearly beloved, no betrothed, no ancient rhyme of the married. Today there are no dead languages to solemnize vows that are very much alive. As with life, they will continue to grow and evolve. Today, promises become commitments, friends become family. However, this, this day is not about the words spoken or rings exchanged, nor is it about grand pronouncements and recessional marches. This day, the day of Laura and Mike's wedding, is about love. It is about creating a moment in time for this love to stand strong for all to see. It is about the beauty that these two people bring out in each other being witnessed and honored by their community. One of my favorite authors once wrote, love is the ultimate outlaw. It just won't adhere to rules. The most any of us can do is sign on as its accomplice. Instead of vowing to honor and obey, maybe we should swear to aid and abet. That would mean security is out of the question that words make and stay become inappropriate. My love for you has no strings. I love you for free. And so it is with great reverence for Laura and Mike and the love they share with us today that I ask you all to be accomplices in celebrating these two ultimate outlaws. <laughs> <laughs> Now as their family, friends, and community, I invite you all to join me to stand and face the directions as I call upon